Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in relevant science with practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding top percentile fraud, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. This question been, has been asked in Google and Netflix interviews, and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, or data analyst roles. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, ABC Corp is a mid-sized insurer in the US and in the recent past, their fraudulent claims have increased significantly for their personal auto insurance portfolio. They have developed a ML-based predictive model to identify propensity of fraudulent claims. Now, they assign highly experienced claim adjusters for top 5 percentile of claims identified by the model. Your objective is to identify the top 5 percentile of claims from each state. Your output should be policy number, state, claim cost, and fraud score. So we are given a data frame called fraud score and expected output is a pandas data frame with these four columns, policy number, state, claim cost, and fraud score, and basically the top five percentile of each state, right? And let's see uh, how this data frame looks like. So it has four different columns, policy number, state, claim cost, and fraud score. So basically what we need to do is for each of these states, we need to, you know, uh, you know rank based on percentile to get the top five percentile based on fraud score for each of the state and then only keep those right so how can we do that so basically what we can do is we can you know make a fifth column call let's call it percentile or something else right uh, and then what we can do is we can rank for each of the state based on the fraud score so what i'm saying is let's you know uh, make a new column called percentile right percentile which is basically equal to fraud score right fraud score dot group by right so what you need to do is group by the state right group by the state and then take the fraud score column right fraud score column uh fraud score column right and then you rank it right now ranking should be done with the percentile function right so how to do that you need to make sure that you write pct that is percentile is equal to true let's see you know what this returns okay okay let me run this so now if you look at it right so uh you know state claim cost fraud score and this is the percentile rank so percentile rank is between zero and one and one being hundred percentile right so basically uh if you look at it right so let me just sort it right so this is uh, just to show you right how is this you know ranking so sort values by and let me give okay so firstly sort by state and then sort by uh, the person type right uh, okay uh, and then let me run this okay so now if you look at it right so fraud score uh, for california right so fraud score is increasing and so is the rank of percentile right so basically how will you read this is 0 0.0 t so two percent of the claims have fraud score less than or equal to 0 0.015 right so that is how you read so now once you have this then what we can do is since you know this is uh from is, you know ranking from the lowest we want the top highest so obviously wherever your percentile is you know more than 0.95 right so wherever your percentile is more than 0.95 that means it is in the top five percentile right so if you look at it right so these for these five right these five rows it is more than 0 0.95 so it, they are in the top five percentile right so you see like don't get confused that okay why we are taking 0 0.95 because it is ranking from the lowest right it is not ranking from the highest so that is what we need to do is you know okay so what we can do is we can apply boolean indexing and say that okay fraud score take the column percentile and make sure you only keep those where percentile is more than 0.95 that means it is in the top five percentile let's store this in a data frame called df you know uh, let me return df so now you have only the top five percentile for each of the state but we don't want this percentile because in your output you only need the first four columns so we can just provide the list of column names that we want so policy number we want we want the state 
we want the uh, claim cost right and we want the fraud score right okay uh, let me run this let's see what we have okay so we only have the four you know columns and for each say the top five percentile so I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and submit it with pass all the test cases. So yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it. Now let's look at how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. Okay, so if you look at it, you know, same question, uh, table fraud score, expected output is same as well, four different columns. And if you look at this table fraud score, again, the values are same, right? So now here, what we need to do is, we need to, you know, partition by the state and then use a window function to get that percentile rank, right? Now, in case of Python, we just simply use dot rank with percentile equal to true and we got that. In MySQL, there is a function called entile, which basically what it does is you know it breaks a group into the number of groups that you want right so for example you know let, let's let me you know from this fraud score let's let me keep all the four columns and then use the entire right so entire and since this is a window function right uh let me write here 24 you know i will explain what this means and since this is a window function we need to write over clause then partition by right partition by state because for every state we want the top five percentile right so partition by state and then order by fraud score right fraud score and let's do decreasing in this case right so let's do decreasing so that you know whatever you have or the very first group that you get is the five percentile and let me uh, alias this as let's say group okay uh, let me run this you know, and now you will understand like what this entire 20 means so if you look at it right so basically it has divided the entire for every state you know ordered by fraud score divided the entire data into these many groups right so 20 groups it has divided so obviously if it is dividing the entire group into 20 so every group is going to contain the 5% of the data in it. Think of this in this way. So you are given 100 things, right? And you arrange them in a descending order, 100 numbers arranged in descending order. And then you make 20 groups out of it, right? So you basically place what? Five groups in each of those 20 groups and group number one, you know, and you need to keep that, okay, group number one, so the first five. And since you arrange those numbers in decreasing manner, so the top five highest numbers go to group one. Then the next five highest numbers go, go to group two and so on. So obviously, if you take the first group, that is the top five, right? And that is what top five percentile means in this case, right? So that is why, you know, you can use this entire and you, it is not, you know, you can make 25 right you can make 150 whatever like it does not matter but then you all need to make sure that okay how many of those groups actually contain the top five percentile so i am taking 20 just for the sake of simplicity to explain things and very easy math right so 20 groups group number one is basically the top five percentile right okay so once we have this then what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and then from this common table expression we only are required to keep the top five percentile which is basically what group one right where group is equal to one and then let's return the columns that are required in the output right so policy number state claim cost and the uh, fraud score right okay let me run this let's see what we have so now we have the top five percentile just like we were able to get this using python we have that right okay let me go ahead and submit it so we pass all the test cases so everything is green and this is how we do so not a very difficult question but you know we need to make sure that we know in especially in the case of mysql uh, using the entire function and what does it actually do right and using the python we need to make sure that okay when we are ranking rank using percentile function is equal to true or 
percentile is equal to true so that you know you get the idea of okay how many percentile is below a certain number etc etc right so that is why you know there uh, in python i use the ascending order and here we are using the descending order so that you know you get the idea of how percentile is actually working in both of these cases right so yeah, let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video